Hi guys, good morning. Happy Friday. I have a message today called the obedience check. Obedience check. And I have some scriptures today for you guys. And I hope it blesses you today. And I just pray that the Holy Spirit just speaks to me as I speak to you. Today in Matthew chapter 5. Verses 13 through 16 says, You are the salt of the earth. But what good is salt if it has lost its flavor? Can you make it salty again? It will be thrown out and trampled underfoot as worthless. You are the light of the world, like a city on a hilltop that cannot be hidden. No one lights a lamp and then puts it under a basket. Instead, a lamp is placed on a stand where it gives light to everyone in the house. In the same way, let your good deeds shine out for all to see, for all to see, so that, so that everyone will praise your heavenly Father. Let your light shine for everyone today. Don't hide your light. Don't be ashamed of the light. Let your good deeds be known. And in Romans chapter 14, verses 12 through 13, this is the ESV version. So then each of us will give an account of himself to God. Therefore, let us not pass judgment on one another any longer, but rather decide never to put a stumbling block or hindrance in the way of a brother. Don't try to make somebody else slip. Let's love others and pray for them. John chapter 15, 1 through 3, and this is in the message version. I am the real vine, and my father is the farmer. He cuts off every branch of me that doesn't bear grapes. And every branch that is grape bearing, he prunes back so that it will bear even more. You are already pruned back by the message I have spoken. Sometimes we have to be pruned back, and when you prune something and you cut something, it hurts. But through the pain and the hurt, it grows back and the fruit grows bigger. So just hang in there. If you're going through a lot of pain and trouble and storms, God will give you that peace through the storm. And sometimes you have to be cut so it can grow big, big harvest. Matthew chapter 7, 17 verses 20 NLT you don't have enough faith, Jesus told him. I tell you the truth. If you had faith, even as small as a mustard seed, you could say to this mountain, move from here to there, and it will, be, and it will move. Nothing will be impossible. Do you have the faith of a tiny, tiny mustard seed today? We'll move a mountain. Can you imagine if you had this much faith? What would happen? It would be just... Everything moved. <laughs> Just have that little mustard seed of faith today for whatever you're seeking. Not ask, never give up. Speak to that mountain. Have the faith and say, I command you to leave in Jesus' name. Second John chapter 1, 7-9, NLT. I say this because many deceased deceivers have gone out into the world. They deny that Jesus Christ came in a real body. Such a person is a deceiver and an antichrist. Watch out that you don't lose what we have worked so hard to achieve. Be diligent so that you will receive your full reward. Anyone who wanders away from this teaching has no relationship with God, but anyone who remains in the teaching of Christ has a relationship with both the Father and Son. We have to have a relationship with the Son and the Father through the Holy Spirit. Acts chapter 2, verses 22 through 28, and this is message version. Fellow Israelites, listen carefully to these words. Jesus the Nazarene, a man thoroughly accredited by God to you, the miracles and wonders and signs that God did through him are common knowledge. 
This knowledge, following the deliberate and well thought out plan of God, was portrayed by men who took the law in their own hands and was handed over to you. And you pinned him to a cross and killed him. God united the death ropes and raised him up. Death was no match for him. David said it all. I saw God before me for all time. Nothing can shake me. He's right by my side. I'm glad from the inside out, ecstatic. I've pitched my tin in the land of hope. I know you've never dumped me in hates. I never even smelled the stench of death. You've got my feet on, life, on the life path with your face shining sun joy all around. Isn't that awesome? It says nothing can shake me. He's right by my side. He's ecstatic. He pinched his tent in the land of hope today. And he will never smell like the stench of death. You will live eternally in heaven with God. Eternity with him. Hebrews chapter 13, 8 through 9. Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. So do not be attached by strange new ideas. Your strength comes from God. God's grace. Not from rules about food which do not help who follow them. Luke chapter 4, NLT, Jesus replied, The scripture said you must worship the Lord your God and serve him today. For the scripture says he will order his angels to protect and guard you. Jesus responded, The scriptures also say you must not test the Lord your God. The spirit of the Lord is upon me, for he has anointed me to bring good news to the poor. He has sent me to proclaim the captives will be released, that the blind will see, that the oppressed will be free, and that the time of the Lord's favor has come. The blind will see, the captives will be released in Jesus' name today, the oppressed will be free. I claim it in each and every life that is hearing this message today. It's an order from God. He says it's done. Psalms 91, 11 through 16 for he will order his angels to protect you wherever you go. Isn't that awesome how he can just order his angels to protect you? They will hold you up with their hands so you won't even hurt your foot on a stone. Wow, that's pretty awesome. You will trample upon the lions and cobras. You will crush fierce lions and serpents under your feet. You will crush the serpents and the lions under your feet. The angels are there protecting you. The Lord says... I will rescue those who love me. Do you love, do you heart God today? I will protect those who trust in him, my name. When they call on me, I will answer. Call on him today. Jesus. I will be with them in trouble. I will rescue and honor them. I will reward them with a long life and give them my salvation. Matthew 13, 9 and 12. Verse 9 and 12, anyone who hears, anyone with ears to hear should listen and understand. You have ears to hear? To those who listen to my teaching, more understanding will be given, and they will have an abundance of knowledge. But for those who are not listening, even what little understanding they have will be taken away. Listen to the Holy Spirit. Sometimes you have to slow down, turn the TV off, turn the music off, turn your phone off. Go to that place where you can hear. Watch the rewatch the war room the other day. Wow. She was just walking around the house claiming victory. Praying for her husband. Praying for things. Just posting scriptures on the wall in her closet. It was a good movie. Psalms chapter 30, verse 5. For his anger lasts only a moment, but his favor lasts a lifetime. Weeping may last through the night, but joy will come in the morning. Your weeping might be today, but he promises, I'm claiming it for you, that joy will come today for you. 2 Corinthians chapter 5, 7, this is the amplified version. 
For we walk by faith, not by sight, living our lives in a manner consistent with our confident belief in God's promises. We live by faith and not by sight. Stop looking at the waves. Stop looking at the virus. Stop looking at the storms. Stop looking at the panic of everybody running around like they're scared. We walk today by faith, not by sight. Proverbs chapter 22, 6. Direct your children onto the right path, and when they are older, they will not leave it. Plant seeds of scripture. Pray over them. Teach them thy ways. Hebrews chapter 3, 12 through 14. Be careful then, dear brothers and sisters. Make sure that your own hearts are not evil and unbelieving, turning you away from the living God. You must warn each other every day while it is still today, so that the throne of you will be deceived by the so that none of you will be deceived by sin and hardened against God. For if we are faithful to the end, trusting God just as firmly as when we first believe, we will share in all that belongs to God. James chapter 1, 5 through 6. If you need wisdom, do you need wisdom today? Ask our generous God, he's so generous, and he will give it to you. He will not rebuke you for asking. But when you ask him, make sure that your faith is in him alone. Do not waver, for a person with divided loyalty is unsettled as a wave of the sea, a wave of the sea that is blown and tossed. Make sure you're focused on him when you ask him. That there's no idols in your way. Nothing that's standing in between you and your relationship with God. Don't despise the small beginnings is what just came to my spirit. The small steps all lead into your harvest and your promised land today. Small steps. That's for you today. Philippians 4, 6-7 do not be anxious about anything, but in everything by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your requests be known to God, and the peace of God, which suppresses all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds into Christ Jesus. Don't be anxious. Don't worry. Peace. In the name of Jesus, I claim it. 1 Corinthians chapter 13, 1-8, ESV version. If I speak in the tongues of men and of angels, but have not love, I am a noisy gong, or a clinging symbol. And if I have prophetic powers and understanding all the mysteries and all the knowledge, and I have all faith, so as to remove mountains, if you have the faith to remove mountains, but have not love, I am nothing. If I give away all I have and deliver it, and all I have, and if I deliver up my body to be burned, but have not love, I gain nothing. Love is patient. Love is kind. It does not envy or boast. It's not arrogant or rude. It does not insist on its own way. It is not irritable. It's not irritable or resentful. It does not rejoice at wrongdoing. But rejoices with the truth. Love bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things. Love never ends. As for prophecies, they will pass away. As for tongues, they will cease. They will cease. As for knowledge, it will pass away. Love today. John chapter eleven twenty five through twenty six. This is message version. You don't have to wait for the end. I am right now the resurrection and life. The one who believes in me, even though he, is, he or she dies, will live. And everyone who lives believing in me does not ultimately die at all. Do you believe this today? Remember today, the blind eyes will open. 
Strongholds will be broken in Jesus' name. God will shine a light in the darkness today. You might see dark clouds, but that light is coming. As I speak, the light's coming. I claim it. Victory! God is here to stay in the hearts of his believers. Remember, the same power that rose Jesus from the dead lives inside of you. Picture it. The same power. Victory! Victory is his. From the depths of your heart, love him today. Love him. He will not let your foot slip. He who watches over you will not slumber. He never sleeps. There is no shadow you won't light up. Mountain he won't climb up. Wall he won't kick down in your life today. There's no lie you won't tear down. Coming after me. There's nothing that will come in the way. That is God's reckless love of overwhelming like reckless love. And I wrote this down. It's not in the Bible, but it spoke to me. The serenity prayer people often do with drug rehabs and things like that, addictions. God, grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change. Courage, courage to change the things I can. And the wisdom from the Holy Spirit to know the difference. Living one day at a time. Don't worry about the past. Don't worry about the future. God gives you bread for today. Each day, he says in the Bible, I give you daily bread. He don't give you a bread for a week because then you miss the other six days. He given you bread for today, wisdom, knowledge for today. Enjoy one moment at a time. Accepting hardship as a pathway to peace. Hardship is a pathway to the peace. Think of the Holy Spirit bird that comes down and puts peace. Taking, as he did, the sinful world as it is, not as I would like it. Trusting that he will make all things right. Trust in him today. If I surrender to his will, you have to surrender. Say, here it is, God, take it. That I may be reasonably happy in this world and, su and supremely happy in the next. I wrote this song, the song lyrics down. For united we stand, divided we fall. And if our backs should ever be against the wall, we'll be together. Together, you and I will be united we stand. Divided we fall, our backs should, ev should ever be against the wall. Jesus won't let us fall. We stand united in Christ today. We might be against the wall today, but Jesus is our Redeemer, and He will never abandon us. He will never forsake us. God has distributed a measure of faith to each one of us. Each one of us gets a measure of faith. I can see clearly now the rain is gone. I can see all obstacles in my way. Gone are the dark clouds that had me blind. Gone are the dark clouds that made me blind. It's going to be a bright, bright, sunshiny day. It's going to be a bright, bright, sunshiny day. I think I can make it now. The pain is gone. All the bad feelings have disappeared. Here is that rainbow I've been praying for. Rainbow. It's going to be a bright, bright, sunshiny day. Look all around, there's nothing but blue skies. Look straight ahead, there's nothing but blue skies. I can see clearly now, the rain is gone. I can see all obstacles in my way, gone are the... Isn't that awesome? That is amazing. Remember my last notes today. Remain attached to the vine, which is Jesus, because that's how you're going to produce much fruit. Keep knocking and he will provide and he will give you what you ask for. Keep seeking him today. Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Er, forever. I was reminded how um, Jesus walked on water. And when, um, was it Peter that walked on the water? He lost, 
he lost focus on God, so he started sinking. So today, let's keep our focus on God, then we won't sink. We'll walk on the water. The storms may come, but we will walk by faith and not by sight. I love you guys. Message me anytime you need anything. I pray for victory. Victory is in your camp today, so don't worry. Victory. Love you. Bye.